Hello, and welcome to Latitude 365, the first accounting software built specifically for yacht, estate, and aircraft management. This short video will show you how Latitude can help you simplify expense recording, reporting, budgeting, and invoice approval workflow. The first thing you'll see when you log in is a list of your custom accounts. To enter data for any account, simply click its Data Entry icon. As an example, let's record a purchase of groceries. I paid for them on May 15th by check, and I bought fruits and vegetables from Superfoods. I need to set the category for each item. I can either look through and find the one I need, or I can just start typing and narrow it down. Let's say this cost $300, and I have a receipt for the purchase. You can attach one or more files of any type to each record and assign an invoice number here. Once I'm done, I click Save, and all of the transactions that I just recorded become viewable in Reports. Let's review Transfer Type Transactions. Let's say I received cash from the owner or made an ATM withdrawal in U.S. dollars. I can change account here and record it into the dollar cash account. I start entering a description and the software autofills today's date for me. Since this is not an expense or income, I record it as a transfer. And since this is money coming in, I enter the amount into the credit field. You can use a split record when one payment needs to be broken down into several categories, attributed to different charters or properties, or you may simply wish to provide a more detailed breakdown. As an example, let's record a payment for a single invoice which includes several items. I simply create a record and set its category to split. Now I can enter each item one at a time and the total balance of the payment will update automatically when I am done. More items can be added at a later time simply by clicking on the plus button. You can sync your transactions to the cloud, which means that other authorized users will be able to see them. Syncing is also an easy way to back up your data. Each account is assigned one main user that can add and edit records. The main user can grant other users access to add or edit records for a particular month by submitting it here. Now, Mary Gray can change records for this account in May, but no one else. John can always ask Mary to give him permission if he needs it, simply by clicking on any field in Data Entry. You can also chat with other users about a transaction and select who can participate in that conversation. Transactions entered by all users will come together in these reports. You can see your standard report set here on the left. And here you can change the month and currency in which they are displayed. Let's explore a few monthly statements. Summary by Category report will show the total spending in each category. You can click on numbers in all reports to see their breakdowns. You can then view an invoice or receipt for each transaction by clicking on the paperclip next to it. Each report has a colored chart under the expense table. You can click on the chart to see a different view, change the chart type, or turn it off entirely. In addition, you can switch a report's currency and print or email it. The same report can be viewed with details, which shows all of its transactions. You can look at the attached invoices by clicking on a paperclip as well. You can also view these reports filtered by charter or property. A number of different reports are provided to help you analyze your transactions. Unusual spending will show whether certain expenses are unusually high or low in a particular month. The Comparisons Report allows you to compare data to the previous month, same month last year, and the overall average. Historical summaries offer a transparent and easy way to view spending over time and to notice change patterns. 
Account reports are similar to bank statements and show all activity that was recorded in that account for any given month. You also have an option to create custom reports. For example, say you need to find a particular charge that was categorized under food and beverages. It probably had the word fruit in its description and was paid out of the petty cash account. We click Generate, and here are all the transactions that match our criteria. Or you could generate a report on a weekly basis. Here you would select the date range for the weeks you need and see all the transactions which occurred over that period. You can also review all you have paid and owe to a particular supplier. And more. Let's review budgets now. They're easy to set up. Simply select your expense type here and enter the desired budget for that month. You can then specify whether it should repeat and roll over to the next month if there's any excess or it wasn't used. And that's it. Now you can compare your actual spending to the budget. Here you can select an expense type or choose to show categories from all types. This number shows how much was actually spent in May. If it went over the budget, the bar is orange. Otherwise, it's green. Here you can see what was budgeted for that category and how much is left or over the budget in that month. You can also review the budget on an annual basis. And you can see the breakdown by clicking on any number. Register is the place where you can see all records together in one place. It can be useful when you need to find and edit certain records or need to move a transaction into a different account. It's also another way to create a custom report. Latitude includes a section for recording bills and invoices which need reviewing or approval before payment. For example, suppose that you received an invoice for flowers which were delivered in April. The order was placed by a colleague, and you'd like him to review it before actually paying for it. When the unpaid bill is synced, your colleague will see it and its attached invoice, and can either approve the payment or discuss it further through chat. If the bill is approved, it will appear in the Approved tab. Now you can pay for it and move it into the payment account. You can also use this section to request an approval before an item or service is purchased. And that's it.